asked for video responses, so I'm making one uh, because it's about us. It's about our marriage. Somebody sent her a private message, asked her some relational questions, and she answered, and I figured uh, I would try to chime in and, and uh, give the other half of that uh, picture. And I decided to use this metaphor of, uh, of wine. I'm sitting here under our grape arbor, and um, I was going to say that uh, relationships are like a great bottle of wine. They get better over time. But as I was looking at these grapes and I was thinking about making this video, I noticed this. Look at this. This is a mother bird taking care of the little baby. Looks like the nest has fallen through. The baby is either sick or just hasn't flown yet. You know, and the mother's just sitting right there. I mean, you know, it's, it's maybe 10 inches away from my fingers, and I don't really want to disturb them. But that's, but that's what relationships are really about right there. Sacrifice. If you are willing to sacrifice yourself, if you are willing, uh, willing to really take you know, the relationship covenant, you know, the flesh of my flesh, bone of my bone, the, you know, uh, we're going to become one. If you take that seriously, you can make a relationship work. A lot of people have separate checking accounts and separate lives, and they just kind of live together, and then they wonder why they grow apart. Um, my wife and I have been separated twice in our marriage, so I'm not, I'm not, I, this is no bullshit, you know, lovey-dovey honeymoon, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it real. The reason that we separated a couple of times, other than all the personal stuff which I'm not going to get into, is that we started living separate lives. My wife started doing things outside of our marriage. I uh, have, have struggled with doing things outside of our marriage, and I'm not talking about sexual stuff, I'm saying just like you know, involved in my own life and in my own head, her involved in her own life and her own head. Uh, the things about my life that are destructive to me and to relationships that I was giving them too much time, the things in her life that are broken uh, about her that, you know, she was spinning out of control with some of her issues. And we, you know, emotionally disconnected and then physically disconnected. Uh, but when we were apart, we really missed each other and we both, because it, it really takes two people, we both committed, uh, when all the pain subsided, we both committed to making it work. And it does take two people to make a relationship and a marriage work. And if I would have just checked out, you know, we would be divorced. If my wife would have just checked out, we would be divorced. I mean, I, I don't, I feel horrible for people that, you know, that are in broken marriages. Um, and I realize that, you know, nobody gets married to ever be separated. Uh, but, you know, you don't always have two people willing to work hard to make it happen. And, and uh, you know, my wife is much more sacrificial than I am, to be honest. She gives more uh, than I do. And uh, I always find myself kind of playing catch up and feeling very inadequate as a husband because she's such a good wife. Now, she's had her problems, but very few of her problems have been about our marriage. They've really been about her own personal demons and her own struggles. Uh, but as a wife, she's been a wonderful wife. I would like to say I've been a great husband, but I've been an absentee husband uh, in, you know...